Hi there, welcome back to Goal Niza channel. Gabby Abadis Tuta, one of Argentinian football's all time greats, is occasionally compared to Diego Maradona in terms of fame. In this video, we'll go over some of his most interesting facts, covering both his personal life and future career. Okay, let's get started. Batis Tuta was born to slaughterhouse worker Omar Batis Tuta and school secretary Gloria Zili in the town of Avalanda, province of Santa Fe, Argentina, but grew up in the nearby city of Reconquista. His father, Omar, was responsible for his son joining Al Haria BSC football club in Qatar during the last string of his career, 2003-2005. Batis Tuta has three younger sisters, Eliza, Aleyandra, and Gabriela. Gabriel met his future wife Irina Fernandez at age 16, meaning they are teenage lovers. Irina was 15 and met him at her quinceañera, a rite of passage. After many years of dating, the couple tied the knot in 1990. Irina is a housewife, but she is very fashionable which is shown through her daily outfits posted on her Instagram page. Together, Batis Tuta and Irina have four sons, Thiago born in 1991 Lucas, Shamal and Joaquin. All of his sons did not follow their father's step as a footballer but choose their own career path. The prolific striker started his career in Argentina in 1988 with Newell's Old Boys, then played for River Plate and Boca Juniors where he won championships, before spending the majority of his club football career with Italian Serie 18 Fiorentina. Amazingly, Batis Tuta currently holds the record for most goals scored in Serie A with 151. When Fiorentina was demoted to Serie B in 1993, Batis Tuta remained with the team and assisted in their promotion back to the top division the following year. In 1996, he assisted the team in capturing the Super Copa Italiana and Copa Italia. In 2009, Bot is Tuta moved to Rome in 2000 for 36 million euros, the highest fee ever paid for a player over the age of 30 at that time. He made 87 appearances during his three seasons here and scored 33 goals. In 2003, he moved on loan to Inter Milan where he played his last two seasons in Qatar with Al Arabi before he retired in 2005. At international level, Batis Tuta was Argentina's all-time leading goal scorer with 56 goals in 78 official matches. Batis Tuta participated in three FIFA World Cups, scoring 10 goals, making him Argentina's second top scorer in the competition after Messi and the joint 10th highest World Cup goal scorer of all time. Batis Tuta is the only player in football history to score two hat tricks in different World Cups. With the Argentina national team he won two consecutive Copa America titles 1991 and 1993, the 1993 CEO and MEBO UEFA Cup of Champions, and the 1992 FIFA Confederations Cup. As of 2023, his net worth is estimated at $40 million, which mainly comes from his football career and his construction company. At present, Batis Tuta and his family are residing in a mansion in Perth, Western, Australia. It's his construction company which designed and built his house, and it was reported that this property cost him around $1.7 million. The house shares a living space of 392 square meter and boasts three bedrooms and three bathrooms. In each bedroom, there is a balcony with a really beautiful view overlooking the lake near there. On the second floor, there is a game room and a gym. What's more, the house also has a two-car garage where his cars are all parked. The first one in the list is Maserati Leveni, which cost him $90 to acquire. This is a good SUV. 
Its biggest strengths revolve around its performance. The Leventy also has comfortable front seats and an easy-to-use infotainment system. And the second car here is Audi Q7 which he bought in 2015. The car had a value of about $55,000. One of the top three row luxury SUVs available is this one. The A4 sedan's more potent 261 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine is carried over. This setup has a 12-volt hybrid system and is used in models with the designation 45. It has a top speed of 155 miles per hour. The first fact that you may not know is that Bautis Tuta was not really into playing football. He was quoted saying, I don't like football, it's only my job. In later interviews with FIFA he expanded, I lived and breathed football. When I was playing football I never enjoyed it that much, I was never happy. If I scored two goals, I wanted a third, I always wanted more. Now it's all over I can look back with satisfaction, but I never felt that way when I was playing. Gabriel Bautis Tuta has gotten three nicknames so far in his life. The first nickname is Badigol. It's a combination of his first name and goal scoring ability. Second is El Angel Gabriel. This name came from his first name, Gabriel. Angel was added because of his goals which saved Argentina on numerous occasions. Finally, he got Lion King as a nickname. This is because of his Lion King-like look. In Argentina, Batis Tuta currently owns and operates his own construction business. He also held the position of technical secretary for the professional football team Colón, where he served from January 2012 until the conclusion of the 2012-2013 season. And that's all for our video today. I hope you find it interesting. If you have any questions and recommendations, leave a comment in the section below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.